Hey, did you make off with that armor while none of us were looking? Because I've got to admit, you look pretty snazzy in it. He didn't steal it, if that's what you mean. Bregan gave it to him as a parting gift. Ah, right. Although it makes sense, I guess. It's like a symbol of rebellion in its own way. Which is why it should have been your father wearing this, not me. I don't know. I don't think he could have pulled it off like you, man. I wonder what the last wearer of this armor was dreaming of for Cislodia when they decided to rise up and fight. Who knows? Anyone who could have answered that is long gone. Truth is always lost with the departed. Are you saying there's no point in trying to understand why they gave up their lives? No. Only that it's impossible to know for sure. Look, I can tell that you're concerned about Cislodia's future. But we do have other things to take care of. You can't shoulder all of the world's problems, Alfin. If you try to, you'll only find yourself buried by the weight of it all. Yeah, I know. My path is forward, and I'll do what I can, here and now. You were born in Calaglia, right, Law? Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's scalding hot all the time there, so I was shocked when I learned Cislodia is the exact opposite. Not to mention dark. Not anymore, thankfully. How did you even manage to cross the border between realms? All five realms are supposed to be closed off, due to the nature of the crown contest. What? Is this an interrogation now? I didn't mean it like that. I just figured if a Danon like you was able to slip between realms, it could come in handy later. Ah, good thinking. I don't think I really did anything all that creative, though. What? Don't tell me you climbed over the walls of fire. Oh, hell no. Not even Zoogles could do something that crazy. Nah, I stowed away. In what? Oh, you'll like this. The realms don't maintain much contact with each other, but there are resources each is looking to trade for. So, there are cargo convoys from each of the lords that go around a few times a year to lend those resources to each other. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. That was the only time the gates of Calaglia would ever open up. Right. Obviously, they don't let Danins ride with them. So I snuck on board inside some cargo instead. So you were carried out of the realm? You did great not getting caught. Way to go. Eh, let's just say I've always had a knack for sneaking around since I was little. I was also really desperate to get the hell out of Calaglia at the time. I had more guts than brains that day. If I had a guess, I probably wasn't the first one to ever do something like that. Danon or Renan. I wonder if that's how Menic, I mean, Ganabelt, was able to hear about what happened in Calaglia so quickly. So in other words, we should always assume that the enemy is informed about whatever it is that we may be up to, wherever we go.
finally made it. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. You guys checked your equipment lately?
Thanks for letting me stick around, you guys. Sure. We're happy to have you. But are you sure you don't want to head back to Calaglia? Yeah. I'm not sure how I can help yet. But for now, I'm going to follow Alfin and see what happens next. that drawbridge connect to? No idea, but I've seen it get lowered. It can't be lowered from this side anyway, so it's useless to us. Out of our way! How about this? A thousand gales carry it astray! These little ones are hardly no worth our time. Less talking, more The tide of battle. Cut them apart to your These heart. These ones can run rings around us. We're in good form! Like it could be worth something.
That's some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. I found some equipment. Let me take a look at it. Might be getting too strong. Isn't that out of our way? Sword rain alpha! One more! First line of the shot! No, we did it! Come and face me! Sword rain alpha! Air force! Last of the shot! All aboard the victory train! Overconfidence can bite you in the butt. Read the landing. <laughs> you see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. <sighs> What's wrong? Ugh. Really? Ah! Sure. <laughs> Nice work. What? Hey! Well? Hmm. What? What? Very nice. <laughs> Boy. Talk about a spry old man. I can't wait to see him again. You've fish swimming around in this pond, huh? Are they edible? Sure, they're edible, but we've got no way to catch any.
Maybe something's going on in the forest. I guess even someone as fashionable as you wouldn't know a whole lot about Dan and armor, right? Not really, no. Like, what's with that scarf? I don't remember that being with any of the armor we found back there. Oh, well, remember how you told me you thought I'd look good wearing some blue? I took your advice to heart and decided to give it a go. Uh, oh, I see. Well, it suits you. Would you say I've learned to spruce things up like you suggested? I wouldn't go that far. That actually came out pretty all right, don't you think? Shion, could we talk a moment? Shouldn't you be resting? I wanted to talk with you for a bit. I don't really want to talk right now. Right. I'll, uh, stop bothering you then. I didn't say you were bothering me. Uh... Sorry. Don't take it personally. I'm just not used to being around other people, so I don't really know how to... chit-chat. Well, for a start, you let your guard down a little. Hey, here's a thought. What if you tell me about your childhood? What with my thorns and all, I didn't really have one. Not to speak of, anyway. Although, I guess I did have one friend. Who was it? A really old doll. Oh. When I was a little girl. The doll was the only thing I could touch and hold without worrying about my thorns hurting it. I would do things like dress it up or sit it on my lap when I was eating. The two of us were practically inseparable. Can I ask something? Is it about the fact that I played with dolls? No, it isn't. I only wanted to ask who gave you the doll in the first place. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Where is it now? I had to leave it behind when I left Lenegas. I didn't have a choice. Most likely it's long gone at this point. You go ahead and sleep. I'm going to grab another bite to eat first. Morning. Ready to head out?
Hmm? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Just a little travel weary is all. Looking forward to finally getting out of here, you know? Still beating yourself up about your dad, aren't you? <sighs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Oh? I never did tell you how I ended up hanging around with the Snake Eyes, did I? Not properly. All I know is you had a falling out with your dad and ran away from home. Getting to Cislodia almost killed me. Once there, though, I actually ended up joining a resistance organization, believe it or not. Of course, before long, someone ratted us out. And we were ambushed by the Snake Eyes. I'd never seen such brutality. If I hadn't surrendered... Law? I don't know why. They let me live. They made me watch as they butchered my friends right in front of my eyes. I still have nightmares. I hear roars of Zoogles as my friends scream. The snow stained red with blood. And all the while, those bastards laughing. I thought that with Ganabel defeated, I'd be able to put it all behind me. Turns out that was a little optimistic. I was terrified they would kill me too. So I wound up betraying the memory of my friends and getting my old man killed in the process. I wonder if I'm any braver now. What if one day I panic again and end up running away like always? And leave us behind? You really think you'd do that? I hope not. But who's to say what I'm really capable of? Ah! I found you! Something wrong, Rinwell? How very perceptive of you! When I turned around, you were gone, so we came back to look for you! Maybe tell us next time you decide to stop? We need all our manpower to face these Zoogles. Jeez, okay. I can't help it when nature calls, can I? Nature? Ew, gross! Here? Let's make tracks, shall we? I hope he makes it through this. You invited him along. He's your liability. He's Zephyr's son, Shion. What was I supposed to do? Just leave him? Fine. Just don't come crying to me about it, all right? I've got enough deadbeats slowing me down as it is. <laughs> Why did people dig this path so far underground? Maybe it was too dangerous on the mountains for them to traverse over them. So you're saying that before Dana was conquered, Danans made this so that they'd have a way to get through the mountains? If I had to guess, they might have even lived inside of these once upon a time. Not like there's any way of knowing now. Not after all our history was lost. No, it wasn't lost. It was stolen from us by the Renans because they thought slaves didn't need it. And because keeping it around would have made it harder to control us. <laughs> it's not all gone. Look at that over there. What is it? It looks like a broken piece from a dish or something. Probably. It's true the Renans erase a lot of our history. But if we look hard enough, I think we'll find there's still plenty of it left. But first, we have to win the freedom to even look for it. We'll win it, all right. Then we'll reclaim our history. we'd end up on the same team. You make an odd pair, it's true. You guys are the odd ones, running with a Renin.
I'll be okay. Do it! Oh, oh, oh. It's back it out again! Let's go! What a relief! They're surrounding us! Quick! Next one! Put it away! Be my guest! Well, someone seems in tip top form. Nothing new about that. And still as humble as ever. I'm practically unstoppable. Your training paid off. We won. This will be a delicious piece of cake. None shall escape our resources. Hurrah! Lightning orb! Quick, Jork! Dance in the wind! Air drop! Turn right to help us! Light astral to cover! I owe you one. I'm on it. Rain Dance flat! Dance in the wind! Freezing stone! Looks like it could be worth something. Take off that water! Woo! 
Rocco. Just pointing it out. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Behind you, Shion.
didn't break a sweat. All this walking up and down is a pain. Yeah, at least we could just go straight through without all this hassle. On the other hand, the collapsed parts let you reach some places you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Go no further! A wiper. We want that by a mile. when you can send them flying.
brothers truly are strong. What about me? Here you are in tip top shape. How could a girl ever say no? These little ones are hardly worth our time. We're in good form. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. That equipment should come in handy. Law, back when we left Sisladen, you remember how you said so long as you don't give up, there's nothing to stop someone starting over? Yeah? Well, I think you did just that. You've set out on a new path despite what happened in your past. <sighs> Besides, you're not the only one fumbling your way through things. You too? It was your dad who taught me to fight. Back at the start of all this, I knew that so long as I followed him, I wouldn't end up straying. But it was also your dad who told me the importance of becoming my own master. Of searching out the answers within me. I always figured I would one day. But at the same time, I had so much more to learn. When he died, I suddenly found myself rudderless. Sure, our immediate goal is to defeat all the lords. But then what comes after that? There's no one left to point me in the right direction. It was then that I realized. No matter how much I fret about it, the only thing I can do is fight. Renin brutality isn't going to right itself. So that's what I'm doing. Fighting. And in the meantime, I'll try to figure out my next move. Right now, that's about all I can do. And you really believe you got what it takes to win this? Against all the odds? Yes, I do. Or at least I want to. If I'm being completely honest, sometimes I'm not really sure whether I can or not. So what if we're still figuring stuff out? If we do it together, then we can support one another along the way. No, I don't think there is. I think I get it now. Having another one of your secret meetings? Don't tell me you were taking yet another bathroom break. Well, we were just engaging in a bit of brotherly bonding. Isn't that right, Alfin? Yeah, that's right. Hmm? Fine then, suit yourselves. Hey, I think I can feel a breeze up ahead. I bet the exit is real close. Finally! Man, it's been too long since I felt the sun on my face. When I get in a tussle, I go full force right at him. Whoever makes the first move win. I do have to admit, it's quite the spectacle to watch you charge in and go to town on someone during a battle. Yeah, it was actually my old man who taught me to fight that way. 
The more I lay the beat down on some baddies, the more fired up my fists of fury get. Zephyr taught you? Wow. I guess you really are following in his footsteps. There's nothing wrong with being so focused on offense. But the enemy always fights back at some point. Eh, as long as I don't get hit, it's not a problem, right? So what you're saying is you're too weak to take a hit. You're not exactly one to talk. What were you two talking about earlier? Earlier? Oh, it was just serious guy talk. You know, the kind that girls don't get to hear. Really? Don't mind him, Rinwell. It's just... Maybe it is a little difficult to talk about in front of women. Difficult to talk about? Okay, now I really want to hear it. Unless... It's not the creepy sort of guy talk, right? No! Okay, it's not creepy. Okay, okay. As long as you're fighting fit, you can talk about whatever you like. <laughs> Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? We're finally here. Eldamen and Sia, the land of green. The place certainly lives up to its name, doesn't it? Yeah, just feel that breeze. It's like night and day compared to Calaglia and Cislodia. Unsullied, fertile land, as far as the eye can see. That's beautiful. <clears throat> what? No, oh, nothing. Just... I was thinking the very same thing. Uh, that's the realm capital in the distance. The city of Vicent. A word to the wise before we continue. Elda Menencia has produced more sovereigns over the years than any other. Uh, Xion! Guess we should probably follow after her, shouldn't we? Hey, you all right, Law? Yeah, fine. I was just thinking how Dad would have enjoyed this view. All this green in one place is... incredible. Anyway, let's get moving before we start looking tasty to monsters. Is he going to be okay? Eventually. That's a wall he'll have to overcome on his own. Looks like it could be worth something. Can we get down? So if I remember right, there are six elements of astral energy, and darkness is only on Rena, and light can only be found on Dana, right? Right. 
I only remember because my parents drilled it all into my head when I was little. How did we find out about dark astral energy in the first place if it's not on Dana, though? Beats me. I couldn't tell you how or when we figured out that sort of stuff. I'm sure there's other stuff we've forgotten along the way, too. Yeah, I bet. And then we forget that knowledge was even forgotten at all, and it's back to square one. Exactly. That's why we need to take good care of what knowledge and artifacts we still have left. You really have a thing for old stuff, don't you? Well, I don't know that I'd call it just a thing. It's also something that helps me feel connected to our world. Connected? It's nothing. Forget I even mentioned it. I should have guessed that there'd be no way he'd understand. How could he? What's wrong? Huh? Yes!
Maybe we should have left them alone. Thanks, Sheila. W why are you thanking me?
I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. Why do you keep staring at me, Xion? Just, what is that wolf on your shoulder? Oh, this thing? I love it! I got it off a street vendor for just 10 gold! I don't know if that's something to brag about. Hey, 10 gold's a bargain, if you ask me. Because it wouldn't sell otherwise. It serves no practical purpose. Honestly, I'm surprised you paid 10 whole gold for it. Shut up! But the detail is so lifelike. I think you made a good choice, Law. Really? I have no idea why you wear it over your shoulder, though. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Eighty-seven! Eighty-eight! Eighty-nine! Oh, shoot! What the? Is the enemy attacking? Uh, sorry about that. You're not hurt, are you? Law? What on Dana are you doing? What am I doing? Training, obviously. I found these nice and heavy rocks that I decided to strap onto my arms, but I guess I didn't tie them down good enough because they went flying. So you were doing improvised weight training. <laughs> you and your crazy ideas. I can't help it. If I'm not training, it's easy for me to get anxious. Well, that's fair. Actually, I remember seeing you practicing your forms for some time when we were camping the other day. Yep. No amount of muscle will do you any good if you don't stay on top of your fighting forms. It always feels good when I know I'm still sharp. Sounds to me like you have too much pent-up energy. Don't train so hard that you wind up hurting yourself, Law. I promise you, you're already perfectly strong as it is. No, I'm not. You never know what we'll run into out there. You can never go into a fight too prepared. And that's the truth. Besides, I won't rest until I know that I'm stronger than you, Alfin. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Well, I don't plan on letting you beat me. Hmm. Maybe I'll add some weights to my sword and practice swinging it. That should help out. Uh, Alfin, are you crazy? <clears throat> You're right. This does make for decent training. Good call with the extra weight, Law. Right? Now you get it! Since we've already come this far, what do you say we have a little one-on-one -on -one with our rocks strapped on? Hell yeah! I'm down for that! Just give me a second, I'll be all ready to roll! Okay! I'm all set! Let's do this! Take this! I'm just getting started! Our camp is completely wrecked! Go. You two are cleaning it up. Yes, yes Xion. Xion.
Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Hoodle, come here, sweetie. Woo! Good boy. What are you doing? Uh, it's flying practice. Hoodle doesn't really like to leave my side, but if I don't make him spread those wings every now and then, they'll start to weaken. It's important he practices. Also, I'm pretty sure he put on some extra weight. Oh. Probably because everyone keeps sneaking him snacks when you're not looking. I knew it! I thought there was something fishy going on. Oh, it's really not good for birds to be overweight, you know? Oh, really? Ah, I'm sorry, Rinwell. You were feeding him too? You haven't been giving him anything he can't eat, have you? I'm pretty sure everything I've given him has been okay. Just to be sure, though, why don't you tell me what he can't eat? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Is something the matter? No, no, not at all. It's just, for a really long time, Hoodle was the only friend I had. So, on the one hand, it makes me really happy to see everyone be so accepting. But, on the other, it's a bit of an adjustment sharing him, you know? Every one of us can see that he's like family to you. I can promise no one's trying to ignore your feelings or anything. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I'll talk to the others about it later. Hoodle, let me know if you sense anything. Another day, another gold. think we might be getting too strong. Isn't that good? Play along, would you? Oh. Ho, ho, ho! Ho, 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 ho! Ho, ho, ho. Maybe something's going on in the forest. <laughs> 